Hi guys, the postman's just been and bought me the new B6 Scribbles That Matter notebook, which I'm very, very excited about because this is a classic Scribbles That Matter notebook in just a B6 size. It's the same in every other way possible, just different size. Um, the cover does seem to be a little bit more textured than the last pro I had, which is very smooth and very strokeable. Not that this isn't strokeable. Um, it just seems a bit different. So they are available at the moment in the classic teal yellow combo and a red colour because that's what people voted for. Um, I've obviously gone for teal because if I'm going to put this in my TN, teal will go with orange better than red will. Um, so, elastic closure, elastic pen loop that we're all kind of used to, two ribbon markers. If we go in... It's the same page at the beginning, it's the same key, it's the same index pages, and then it's straight into the dotted pages. At the back you've got your pockets, um, and then you have the mindfulness page and pen test page. Now I've been through, and as I do with most of my journals, I've counted the squares and then recorded it in the back in pencil. So there are 23 squares across and there are 32 squares up and down vertically. That's the word I wanted. Um, and there are also 201 pages in this. Now, I'm fairly certain the last Scribbles Matter notebook I had had less than 200 pages. I could be wrong on that. But it is that lovely kind of buttery, smooth, lovely paper that we expect of a Scribbles Matter notebook. So what I thought I'd do is, now that I've got this, I would just compare it to my Leuchtturm and also to one of the um, dot grid inserts that I was using in my TN as well. So first of all, if we go with the insert, so this is from Simply Plan on Etsy. I've just taken this out of my um, TN. I did a little video on that the other day. You can see, like, size-wise, it's pretty much the same if you take into account the hardback um, bit that sticks out and the spine and everything. Uh, this has... This has how many pages? Uh, a lot less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times up by two... 32 pages. Um... And the dots that are per page, there are 23 across, so exactly the same. And there are 33 up, so this has one extra row of um, squares in it. Which, if you look at the page and compare the pages, isn't really surprising, because obviously you've got the gap at the bottom and thing in the page number. So that kind of makes sense. Um, so size-wise, pretty good on the B6-ness. I would say B sixness. That's now a phrase I'm going to use. The B sixness. Okay. Uh, then we go to the Loish term. Now, as I've said before, the Loish term is advertised as B six plus for this reason. It's taller. Um, it's a little bit narrower than this. Um, but then you, again, you've got a little bulk that you don't have on a soft cover version. Obviously, this is soft cover. We've seen this by now. Um, this one has 123 pages um, with the normal perforation at the back as well. I've taken one out because I had a fixed page. Um, also has the contents and two ribbon markers that are a bit thinner and the elastic closure and the pocket at the back. Um, the difference here is with the number of squares. So this one has 22 across, so it has one less. And it has 34 vertically. Um, so that's that's quite a difference in number of squares. Um, and then the other thing I was going to do with all three of them was just show them in my TN. So I put my bullet journals in TNs normally, as we know. Uh, the insert we've seen before, but I'm just going to pop it in anyway, just so you can have a bit of a reminder. I'm going to do this one at a time. These are obviously designed to go in this, so go in really nicely and come out really nicely. Um, the Loish term, now I did have this strung for a while, which is why these are a bit looser for this reason because it's 
a bit taller it's actually taller than the holes in there we go the holes in the spine so it stretches the elastic out a little bit which is fine you know it does still fit it doesn't pop out the top or the sides or anything it still fits within there but as i said in my planner talk video um it's putting quite a bit of strain on the back of the spine because this is quite it's not a flimsy notebook but it is flexible and obviously you know it has capacity to stretch quite badly um so i didn't want to do that which is why i don't string it anymore um and then we get onto this lovely one now when i've strung my hardback bullet journals in my foxy fix i undo the knot and thread it straight through the spine which is something that um cara from boho berry did and that works really nicely for me in terms of having this central with an inset either side now one problem i have with this one is the knot isn't in the middle of one of the strings, like in one of the middle strings, it's on the first one. Plus, I quite often have a bit of issues stringing scribbles and matter notebooks anyway, just because um, of the way the spines are uh, folded over. That's fine because they still fit nicely when you string them in the back cover. So I'm just going to bash everything as I try and fit it in. So it does fit in there really nicely. I'm going to just I'll give you a quick flick. Um, it fits within the size of the holes, it fits within the back spine okay, um, it's not like ideal, but once if I pack it out then it will. And this one does just, just fit within the um, realms of the TN. So when I use the dingbats on my A5 this is quite similar, it's just a touch, touch wider which makes it quite snug. So if I was to, for example, pop another couple of inserts in here, if I do that one, and that one, by the time you start packing it out, it is going to get closer and closer to the edge. So that's fine, it doesn't bother me, but it might bother some people, but I don't know how many people keep their bullet journals in TN anymore. Not many, I don't think. Um, the advantage if I did that, though, was I could take this off because I've already got the pen loop. Um, or I could keep both of them. Who knows? So that's a quick B6 notebook comparison and just a quick flick of them all. Um, I'm enjoying the size quite a lot for just running my personal day-to-day -day stuff. Um, I'm still in that process of trying to separate stuff out, separate my work stuff out. I do miss A5, but I do quite like this. This this notebook in particular feels like it's a nice size. I can throw it in my bag and not worry about it too much at all. Um, it's just, yeah. I'm liking the size, and I'm liking the fact that actual notebooks now are more easily attainable in this size because the size is nice. So there we go, guys. That's just a little bit of a comparison. I think I've already said there we go. But anyway, I'm saying it again. Um, and I'll be back soon with more planning. Happy planning.